what's up guys thank you for watching this video and i hope that you are going to enjoy it uh, today's video we're going to be testing the performance of this antenna uh, those are the osprey antenna they are made by fly fish rc and those as of today are the cheapest antenna you can buy they do come on either right or left-handed uh, this is a left-handed antenna and i'm going to test the performance of this antenna compared to the work snail antenna those are seen by some in the hobby as some of the worst antenna you can use and everybody will tell you if you're getting a work snail just go ahead and update antennas because the one that come in you know, a work snail are not that good so uh those being pretty cheap i uh, figured those be a, a pretty good option for the update on a work snail so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take it for a spin in my neighborhood uh, there's a couple of spots that i know usually transmission is not as good and i will see if this cheaper antenna are gonna do as good or better than the one you get on your work snail kit all right guys so in case you're wondering for this little test i'm going to be using my work snail gago i do have the ort pagoda on top and i do have the patch minus antenna uh, on the bottom uh, i'm going to put in all the vts configuration on the screen so you can see exactly what we're working with first spot i'm gonna go it's always all the way back to this spot here that's where the system usually have a hard time uh, you can see a lot of vegetation and uh, this spot is actually about 10 feet under where i took off you can see there's a small little hill there so there's a hill vegetation between me and the drone with the regular work snail antenna i'm getting some red bar uh let's see actually it's doing much better i thought you will, will be doing 25 bit rates i'm supposed to be at 50 so i'm getting half the bit rate i'm supposed to be getting but overall it's doing pretty good no image degradation at all that actually pretty good because usually even dji usually have some kind of hard time in this back on the back here so we're gonna go a little farther in and now we can see the image going down uh bitrate is at 13 i got a red screen i got a red bar or red sun on the screen so we're getting 12 13 it's about right here 12 13. so that is pretty much all we need for this spot now the second spot i'm gonna go whoop yeah, you can see how bad the image is. It's gonna be almost uh, opposite where I'm sitting. I'm in the garage, you can see me there. So now we're gonna go all the way to the other side of my house. This is spot number two. That's where there's always issue with transmission vegetation i got my my house between me and the drone and we got a little red bar the letting us know the connection is not as good and let's see here 13 that is a bit wet uh, image degrading of course you can see in the back over there but 13 that is the lowest bit rate we're getting here but I wish I actually set it up to where you could see the little blinking. It's blinking red, which telling me that connection is not as good. So getting an idea. Yep. 13, 12, 11. That is the lowest we're getting. 13 is pretty much the lowest we're getting. I'm going to go all the way to the back here. This is going to be our last spot. Uh, let's see all the way so i'm literally beyond myself you can see a uh, bad image is getting 13 seem to be the magic number 13 oh yes breaking pretty bad oh i missed a car there i didn't even hear the car coming so uh I'm gonna come back 
Some of them seem like 13 seem to be the magic number. That's the lowest is getting 13, 12. Now I'm using the, I'm running the latest firmware. Oh yeah, breaking up pretty good. Uh, so let me come back. We are gonna swap our antenna to the Osprey antenna. Done with uh, putting on the new antennas. Uh, one thing you may see, they are sticking out a little more than the original Waxland antenna. Uh, those antenna are actually the same length, but the tube on the Hope Spray from Fly Fish RC are much longer than the one you get on the regular Waxland antenna. And those tubes are not only slightly longer, they are also slightly wider. Uh, they are less flexible than the one you get on the original Waxland antenna. So they're sticking out a little more, but let's see how they're going to perform. As far as quality goes, I'll say those antenna look much better quality build than the one from the work snail. Alright, so let's get this done. I didn't change any parameter on the VTX. Everything is the same than when I, I did the run with the work snail antenna. Sun is setting down, so hopefully it should not take too long to go to all the different spots we're gonna stop our first spot let me get a little closer here i think i'll stop here first and let's see uh we doing i'm still at 50 megabit weight that is interesting okay we go on down to 25 down to 25 and i was at 25 with the walk snail in this area uh, image still pretty pretty good not as good as earlier just because the sun is setting down but we are still at 25 uh, so we're gonna go a little further in and that's where we started seeing some degradation with the walk snail system with the walk snail antenna and let's see oh uh -huh. if i'm not if I remember well, I was getting about 13, 12 in this spot with the original Walksnet antenna. Uh, you can see right now we're getting 22, 13, no, we're getting still 13, 12 bit, 12 bit weight. I can't really tell if the image regression is about the same. I mean, you guys can tell me, you know, uh, but as far as bit weights go, we're still getting about the same amount of bit weights. Uh, let's see And that's one other thing I was afraid by this test uh, I was wondering if I need to go like much lower power wise you know much more milliwatts. I'm using 700 milliwatts, but I Don't think it was gonna make such a big difference because you know, I'm not really flying that far away from myself So it's kind of hard to tell If you're gonna be able to see any difference between both antennas but let me go on this side here. We're gonna be spot number two. And I think with the walk snail, lowest bit rate was about 13. And uh, we're here. We're still getting 13, 12, 5. Yeah, I mean we're getting much lower bit rates than we did with the walk snail. Similar, like we're getting much lower bit rates. Let me see, try to keep it by the same height. Because the thing about it, if you don't keep it in the same height, you'll be getting much lower. I think I was about right here. So we seem to be getting about the same. My screen is blinking red, which let me know that connection is not as good. I didn't really pay attention to the millisecond, see if you get any difference in millisecond. But you guys be able to see and let me know. I see that maybe when I'm editing. But it seems like on this in spot two we're getting slightly lower uh, bit rates than we did with the original Waxman antenna. Now we're gonna go to our little last spot, which is a little spotty. That's where the Waxman antenna had the hardest time. Uh, let's see if the Osprey Fly RC antenna is gonna do any better. There we go, we are here. Blinking red, okay. Image derogation, seem to be about the same. 
bit rates seem to be about the same 13 i wonder if I don't know i'm not gonna say anything i'm just gonna give you the data and you guys let me know but seem to be getting much lower bit rate here uh interesting interesting let me see let me roll tune a little bit the image doesn't seem to break up as bad maybe uh, i can't really tell guys i can't tell if there's any major difference I mean, I'm gonna show you the results and you guys decide which one is better. But I would say, as far as quality goes, as I said earlier, the fly fish RC antenna seem to have a better quality. So that means, in, in case of a crash, they're more likely to survive a crash compared to the Waxnet one but those were the result of the test i can't really tell if there is any major difference between those two antennas but one thing i can tell you guys is that uh just from my experience using the Waxnet, i would say that more likely the flyfish rc are performing a little better but even though the test the data is not showing that so I may have to do another test where I'm running uh, the drone. I have much, much lower power. And hopefully that will show any difference. But then again, I mean, you can't go wrong. Those antennas only cost seven bucks. So it's not like you're breaking the bank when you train those antenna. Then of course, the one from the walk snail come with the system. They are cheap, they are free and of course you got a work snail v2 that have come out so i don't know how good or how bad the performance of those antennas are compared to the original work snail but that's pretty much it guys for this video i will see you on the next one